Felicia. Fresh. Have you seen my shirt? I have, and it looks amazing. It looks like something you'd buy in a store, isn't it? It really does. It looks I may good. sell these in a store. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Okay. Fresh along with Felicia, we're going to talk about the Uninet iColor 560. That's right. What is an iColor 5? What is this Uninet thing? It is a white toner transfer printer. And what does that mean? That means it gives you the ability to transfer designs that actually have white in them. So think dye sublimation, where you're using like an inkjet kind right. of mechanism. This is next level because it's laser toner. So it doesn't dry out, it's not liquid, it's actually toner powder. That's right, that's right. And it sticks to it. What are some of the benefits of doing white laser transfer versus sublimation? White toner printer is superior to anything else in the world. You know why? Why? Because we have one. We love it. <laughs> but other than that, a lot of people will do dye sublimation again. And the reason that this is better is number one, well, it doesn't dry out. Because right. if you don't use you've used it, you have your dye sub printer over there. You didn't use it for a couple of weeks. What happened? It took us forever to figure out how to get that ink out you not had, dry. You anymore. had to run like a thousand we cleaning did. cycles to we get did. it liquid again. Number two, dye sub can't print on dark colors. You can't print on anything darker than the color you're using. Without, yep. without some workarounds. Yeah, without some, finagling. some weird workarounds. You can yeah. see this is kind of a dark bluish shirt. And you can see that I have red on here. I have white. And you can see you can print white. And there's no inkjet printer in the world that can print the white color. It enables you to put all kinds of really cool designs on darker shirts. And really, if you look at dark, I mean, why would people wear white shirts, especially when you eat spaghetti? <laughs> if you're drinking coffee, true, we've done that, true. right? We've gone yeah. on a cruise and got smuts all over. I'm like, Very wow, true. I wish I wore dark shirts, yeah. right? Yeah. What a big advantage. What do you have to do to surfaces when you use dye sublimation ink? You can use your spray or something, yeah. and if it doesn't have polyester in it, it's right. not going to stick, right. is it? The higher polyester in it, the better you're going to get. What your if it doesn't have here. polyester? Then there are ways workarounds. There's spray, like you just said, and what about a cotton shirt? A cotton shirt, you can actually use um, like uh, glitter, white glitter HTV. Put that down first, and then you can sew on that. So right. there are some workarounds, but yeah, but they're you know. stupid. We actually dye sublimated a cotton shirt. It's on this channel somewhere. And we did it. It actually came out. It was kind of muted. And then we washed it once and all the colors disappeared. Yeah, it did. But white toner laser transfer stays on cotton, stays on polyester, stays on anything, won't it? Whoop. Absolutely. And you can't feel it on the shirt. It's no, like, it's like a ingrained. legit, it's like a shirt you would go to like Target, Kohl's or right. anywhere and you would buy this shirt. That's right. And this looks great. This is, this is actually an AI generated, well, I tweaked it because AI is stupid and it can't spell, as we've talked about before. But I had to fix this and went into AI. I said, give me a thing. This is actually an Icelandic word for party devil. And this is, I like to party all the time. We're ready to party all the time. Nice. We're going to Iceland, so we're going to wear this there. And people are like, well, I want to buy this shirt, man. Hey, can I buy that from you? Yeah, man, white laser toner shop, open on Etsy. But um, it allows you to put this on any fabric, dark, light, cotton, polyester, silk. You can put it on anything. But you're not limited to just fabric. Let's show you what we did with our white laser transfer today. What we is did. this? We did. We cut um, a piece of wood. This is just a piece of wood, and we used the uh, Uninet to print a design, adhered that to the mm -hmm. wood, then took this piece, of, it was a solid piece of wood, then took this piece of wood into our machine, cut it, and engraved over it. The only other way to do this is to put stickers on there, but it's kind of hokey, or to paint it, and you can't get this level of detail right. with paint, unless you're no. a really good painter, right. and it would take forever to do it. Right. So now you can print hard. whatever you want, make that wood, that color, and then cut out or engrave whatever designs you want. So it's really a game changer in our business, what we're doing with yeah, absolutely wood is. cutting absolutely and laser is. toner. And what's that? And this is a glass. Um, beer can glass that we put one of the family pictures on. That is pretty cool. And you did that with the Uninet white did. laser transfer. We absolutely did. Yeah. And what is this thing? It's called the I-60. What is the, the official name of the it? The Uninet iColor white toner transfer printer, and this is the 560 version. It's pretty neat. And it's for sale everywhere now. I think I saw it at a, 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 a couple of different websites. Yeah, that's absolutely. Where you can we'll, link, we'll link them in the description. But that's amazing. Look at that. Neat? That's next level. And this is just glass, and you can't dye sub on glass without some tricky workarounds. Right. And this will go through the dishwasher and last forever? Yep, that's what they said. That's amazing. That's pretty cool. So amazing things you could do with the eye color. And I don't know, I can't recommend it enough. I mean, just this shirt is blowing me away. And these, which you can sell on Etsy, like people put these on their cruise ship doors. That's right. That's and right. most people just have single colors or they're using a Cricut. Yep. But 
if you use vinyl, you can't get these transitions, these gradients. You cannot. You can't. These I mean, photographs. We actually used a, a picture, an ocean picture on this yeah. one. You can't. You can't Unless do you're that. you're a really good artist, you can't really do You can't this. do that. Like, yeah, it would take yeah. you forever to yeah. paint this, and you have to set yeah. some wicked skills to do that. So endless opportunities. We're going to do a bunch more with this machine, aren't we? We are. What yeah. are our next projects? I'm not sure. I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to do more wood. I want to do some vibrant colors, and I want to cut out some words and three-dimensional stuff and just put them all together, layer them all okay, up. Okay, we can do that. And we have a bathroom project, too. We're going to do a big wood cutout, and I'd like to do some colors. Let's do it. And what's nice about this, again, you can get the vibrant yellows, the vibrant whites, because it has the white toner. You actually put a white laser toner in there, and it gives you this, it just allows all these colors to pop. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Like if I did this without the white behind it, it would be a really muted red, and you'd barely be able to see any of the colors Agreed. here. And you would, of course, the white wouldn't work at all. That's right. That's but right. this is next level stuff, and we're loving this thing. Thank you to our friends at Uninet for sending it to us. And stay tuned on this channel. Hit the subscribe button. We'll show you a bunch more things we're going to do with our Uninet white transfer. White laser toner <laughs> transfer. It's kind of a mouthful. Our Uninet <laughs> eye color 560 white toner uh, transfer paper. Print. All the links and some of our other videos on this channel shows you exactly how to use it and some more demonstrations right here on this channel. That's right. Thanks for watching.